welcome to Danu on Fire right here on High TV, your luxury channel. And this is all made possible by our friends at LICC Jeans. Today we are checking out whew, Me Colombo. This is a super cool city hotel located down Park Road. It's fabulous. Love the food here, love the ambience and the interior. Can't wait to meet with my guests and speak more about it. And he is a guy who loves his sneakers. It's Dano on Fire and we are at this beautiful place called Me Colombo down Park Road. And if you're wondering what is this Bahana Sabde, that's because this is like an outer area for seating. But we really like the ambience here, so we decided to come here. And this is not exactly the most romantic setting at this very moment because I'm with the boy who made sneakers sexy for Sri Lanka. Kamaj! You got it right. I said it right? <laughs> yeah. I, said it right. <laughs> I was calling him Kamnaj all this time, then Kamanaj. Yeah, Eventually there's Kamal Raj, Kamal, Kamal Raj. all that. Why didn't they just name you simple? Like, I don't know. My father was Kamal, so he's probably changed. Oh, Kamal to, to Kamal. Yeah. Mom might have had a hard time. Come out, come out. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember. How were you called? Uh, Puta. Easy, right? Right. Welcome to Sri Lanka. Thank you. Thank you. So for he's actually from Toronto, Canada. Toronto. Uh, oh, sorry. Toronto, <laughs> Canada. <laughs> So, uh, for those who are wondering, who is he? Uh, if you have watched TV, <laughs> where you're watching us right now, there was an international sensation about a Sri Lankan who took his brainchild to investors. Correct? Yeah. Now explain the story. Pretty it's much very point. confusing. Uh, yeah, so I was on um, this uh, national TV show in Canada called Dragon's Den. Uh, Dragon's Den. Yeah. Producer, can you insert that Dragon's Den clip? Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, I went on their uh, show in 2017. I got an investment from four of the dragons uh, for my business, Sneaker Tab, which is basically a sneaker subscription service where you receive a box full of goodies with sneakers and clothing. And what are the other goodies month. you get? You get t-shirts, you get pants, you get socks, you get... How can I letters. subscribe from Sri Lanka? Sneakertub.com. We send. Uh, I don't need to. So you know my size. <laughs> I got you, bro. I got yeah. you. Every month I need a goodie bag sent. I got you. That's so fun. <laughs> All right. So now tell me, this love for sneakers. You could have chosen so many other things. No, you could have said coat to invest on my coat yeah. to company or like uh, I don't know, like kade pang. Yeah. Like you know, you could have done so much in Canada because yeah. everything is new. But you decided sneakers. Why? Uh, I think that's my passion. I love sneakers, so I didn't want. So I worked in the film industry for five years. Which oh, wow. I love film, film as well. Um, so I worked for a company called E1, uh, which is like one of the leading independent distributors in Canada. Do you think they'll cast me for a lead? They might. You are so full of promises. You are like a politician. <laughs> I'm not promising you that. You're like, I'm I'll send you a bag you. of goodie every month. Your, your sneakers are already in the mail. Yes, you can get casted for a film. Man, my life is so great. You're, you're, you're my president. Okay, tell me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kamal 2020, yeah. 2019. No, yeah. Don't fight for 2020 <laughs> or 2019. It's already taken. Just so that you'll be safe, 2025. Okay? Yeah, so sneakers are my passion. So Perfect. I love fashion um, and clothing, all of that all together. Like I, I, I like all of that. Like I, putting, I like putting outfits together, you know, matching my sneakers with my clothing kind of thing. So I wanted to do something that I really liked where I woke up every morning and it, it didn't have to feel like work. Okay. So that's the main reason I chose sneakers. And how has it worked? And how many, like let's say globally, oh, like, we have to eat as well. Okay. So this show is also about food. Right. Uh, he has lost weight, uh, how many kilos? Uh, 28 to 25 or 28, yeah. Whatever he lost, I put on. Uh, <laughs> so in this process, we eat during yep. this show. Yeah. The show is called Down One Fire, dedicated to two things I really like, food and clothes. Nice. I Cheers like to good life. Cheers, sir. Go. Mm, nice. What are you having? Watermelon, right? I think it's watermelon, but I usually don't no, like watermelon. No, that's strawberry. Strawberry, they can Watermelon and asana. This is something nice. else. All right. Um, eat. You have to use like cutlery and all, but yeah, I yeah. can just eat. Um, so tell me about life in Canada. What made you go to Canada? 
Uh, I followed my heart around. Uh, basically, so you studied here. I studied here. Uh, I went to school at St Thomas's Gothora. Okay. Uh, moved to the UK to do my bachelor's. Mm. Uh, so I was there from 2000 to like 2008. Moved back home. Tried to find a job here that I really liked. I couldn't. Um, so I wanted to study uh, film for my postgrad. So I actually went to uh, Canada to study my postgrad program. And then you took a bit of a shift. Yeah. So I worked. Yeah, I, I worked in the film industry for five years. Got laid off. Started sneak it up. Hmm. Simple as that. Now, for someone who wants to create his own identity in a foreign country, mm -hmm. how hard is it? How hard was it for you? It's pretty difficult. I wouldn't say people are racist in Canada because it's um, Toronto is a very multicultural yeah. city. But as a new immigrant, I think you got to work twice or thrice as hard as people who were born in Canada because mm. it's like oh, like we walk. Simple example: you walk in, into an interview. And you got like a Sri Lankan accent or like an Indian accent or a Pakistani accent or whatever. Or any accent apart from a Canadian accent? Uh, British accents, Irish accents, Those they work. work. Yeah. Okay. Um, they immediately judge you and they're like, you know, you're an immigrant kind of thing. They don't say it to your face, but you know, you feel it. Yeah. Um, you always get passed uh, on for jobs. So. Okay. Uh, it's a little tough, but then it, that's why I wanted to do my own thing as well. I didn't want to go for interviews and try to convince people that I'm good enough to work for them. Mm. Um, I just wanted to do my own thing where I had control. But um, when you chose this industry, mm -hmm. were you scared that it might crash and burn? Um, usually I'm not nervous or scared about anything. I'm like head first, like into shark infested waters. Okay. And I'm always like, I'll, 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 I'll try to do something first and then I'll figure out like the details. So I'm pretty straightforward like that. Brilliant. For those who are watching, if you're wondering what he does, so he has a platform where you can log on to, it's a website, and you do a subscription for a sneaker subscription, where mm -hmm. you get sneakers for the whole month. How many pairs do you send? Um, we have about 1,500 subscribers right now. Okay. Um, no, so no, I'm just saying per person. So we have different packages. Um, you can get one pair of sneakers, you can get two pair of sneakers, or you can get like premium sneakers like Nike Adidas, like mm -hmm. the latest drop. So there's like five, six different packages. So we are going to come and speak about your clientele. I want to know who are in this premium list. When we do come back, do stick around. It's done on fire, made possible by our friends at LICC Jeans, and we are checking out Me Columbo. <laughs> This restaurant is called My Dining at Me Colombo. You can check them out down Park Road in conversation with Kamaj all the way from Canada. Uh, so great to know that Sri Lankans are raising the flag so up there and speaking, making other people to speak about our country apart from everything else that they can speak about. Yep. <laughs> Good things are always welcome. So now Kamaj, we spoke about your brand and the fact that how you have three different packages. I'm very inquisitive to know about your premium range. So premium. No, I just want to know who are the people who are signed in. Oh, yeah. so do I know anyone? Like is Drake in it? No, Celine Dion. No, they 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 get free stuff usually. Well, I don't. We don't send stuff to Drake. But you, can you just tell Drake I really like him? Oh, you like Drake? Yeah, Drake's good. I like Drake. A lot of people hate on him. Why? Because he, like, he looks he, fabulous. You know, he, he sings and raps, right? So like like true hip hop heads, they're like, oh, like if you're like a rapper, you just have to rap. Kind There's always negativity for talent. Yeah, but Drake's great. Drake's done a lot for the city of Toronto and it's, I think he's helped putting Toronto on the map. Is Celine Dion still big in Canada? Yeah, yeah. she's still big. She'll one day become like the president of Canada or like... Prime Minister. <laughs> or they might rename Canada as Celine Dion. Could be. Yeah, because she's so big. Yeah. That's the only wedding they telecast live. Yeah, that's true. Telecasted it live yeah, on all yeah, Canadi yeah. Canadian state media. Alright, so tell me about your family. How, were, how was it when you were growing up? Like a real Mount Lavinia Kola? Uh, yeah, beach boy. <laughs> really? No, not oh, beach, boy, beach boy, but you know, close to the sea, oh, yeah, close true. to the ocean. All Went these to St. Thomas's, yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, growing up is uh, fun. I lost my dad earlier on in life at, when I was eight, so I... Oh, relatable. Uh, yeah. Mama's yeah. boy grew up... Same here. Uh, with a bunch of women, like her sister. All of everyone. them. Yeah. We are always very disciplined. Yeah, we are we're raised we no right choice. to. We are raised to respect women as well. Yes. I think that's I, a huge issue, like 
100%. this country has, yeah. um, and and many other places in the world for sure, like South Asia. Um, but being around women and being brought up by women, I think I was instilled the values of mm. you know um, how to treat a woman, right? Yeah. Or like how to you know just general in life, like how to go about in life. Um, and I, I don't think my mom, uh, you know, let me feel the loss of my father. It's just mm. like she was a mom to me. And I'm the only child as well, so. And she was also the dad to you as the well. The dad, the yeah. sister, the brother that I didn't have. Um, yeah, but, fun times. But I always say it's a huge sacrifice when, when somebody loses their significant other at mm. a very young age. Because yeah. they're young. Yeah. Now when we look at ourselves, if we lose our special someone, we'll be yeah. like, what in the world? I would be so lost. Correct. <laughs> but at that same time, to consider bringing up the child yeah. by themselves, that's commitment. Yeah. And also, that's, that's a lot of work. Yeah. Uh, while you continue the story, just to let you know, we are getting into our mains right now. Uh, considering the fact that Kamaj is on a diet, he deserves it. He needs it. Not like me, you know, who's in shape. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Uh, we are going for something very healthy, but very, very tasty. This is like, I think this is sea fish. Uh, what are and you I having? think this is chicken. Kebabs. Yeah. Whatever it is, I'm ready to dig in. Considering the fact that it's guilt free cooking. All right, nice. So tell me the rest of the story. And then. Uh, well, not full. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Is your mom upset over the fact that you live in Canada? My mom passed away in 2015, but before she passed away, she was never. You know, she missed me. Um, but she was never, like, you know, mad at me for, like, going away. For, you know, to build up my own future kind of thing. We have similar lives. Yeah. My dad died when I was seven. Yeah. Well, I was going to be eight. And my mom died when I was 24. Welcome to the club, bro. <laughs> there you go. That's what connected us, I tell Yeah, you. I think so. <laughs> and, the, and both of us like our shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, now, today, when you sit back and see all the trials that you have gone through here, yeah. and what you have built for yourself in Canada, what do you see that life can offer to someone who is just trying out new things? Um, I mean, w what I see with most people is they think things can happen overnight. Mm. Uh, for me, it surely did. Like, for me, nothing happened overnight. Um, I had to work really hard. Like, I remember when I first started the business, I didn't have any of these premium accounts like Puma or New Balance or whatever. So I used to go from store to store. Asking them pick out shoes and I didn't know like anything about the industry I got into as well right so like I used to email like the general like info at newbalance.com yeah. being like oh like I want to become a dealer like how do you do that and never hear back so I had to kind like, of who is this fellow just let yeah, him go I kind yeah. of had to figure out the industry for myself like knowing that there's a sales hierarchy there's the sales office that there's a sales rep for each region so mm -hmm. I had to do all that studying myself and a lot of people don't want to put in the time to study and come uh, to know the of, trade that they've chosen. Exactly. Yeah. So and and then they blame society and like everyone else around them for like things not working out. But at the end of the day, they're not trying hard. Like you know, you can you can fail a hundred times, but there there'll be your day will come. Mm. So that's what I believe in. Like even even doing things now, it's still not easy. Like. I have those premium accounts and then there's those accounts that I don't have. Mm. So I'm still trying hard like to Drake's get Like Drake's account. Drake's account, yeah. Right? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's so hard to connect with celebrities. It's, it's, don't it's, worry. It's so I'll put you in touch with him. <laughs> It'll happen someday. Yeah, that's true. Um, yeah man, it's, 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 uh, people think it's uh, easy and things happen overnight. Nothing happens overnight and you gotta, you know, you gotta eat to get to a comfortable place. There you go. There's always something to do. <laughs> we'll speak more, of course, in conversation with Kamaj. You can come to know more about him, of course, on his super cool website, which is sneakertub.com and milktoronto.com. Now, this Milk Toronto is what we we're going to talk about. He really likes his cereal, I think. Mm -hmm. We'll speak more when we do come back right here on Danone Park. And welcome back to the show. It's done on fire, made possible by our friends at LICC Jeans. They always give you a super cut jean. And I've just told Mr. Kamaj here, if he wants to emphasize his very fowing physique, <laughs> he needs to wear LICC. What do you say? Yeah, yeah, definitely. When you have lick on your low part of your body, you're on a good place. Yep. <laughs> yeah. You're on a good roll. All right. So now you're speaking about 
the fact that you love cereal. Yeah. You no, know, you also like brownie. Just get yes. into it. This boy has been craving for brownie for eight months. My trainer would kill me if he this sees this Canada, show. No? Yes. Different area codes. Yeah. Eight. <laughs> yeah. This doesn't apply here. Yeah. It applies in Canada. But in Canada, you will lose weight naturally. No, it's cold, no? Baja, you actually put on. Really? Yeah. It's cold. Your body heat doesn't work on your fat. No, I don't think so. Really? No. So it doesn't. Uh, it doesn't work for me. <laughs> so, occasionally I used to sit in the fridge. Doesn't help, right? <laughs> now you tell me. Okay, fine. So tell me, you can eat your brownie and tell me. Okay, I'll, I'll start. No. Ah, okay. Come, so tell me, me about yeah. your store. Um, so the store is called Milk Toronto. Okay. Um, so it's one of the only uh, boutique. Um, how do I put this nicely? Um, boutique experience stores out there. What do you uh, all sell? So we sell sneakers. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it's an experience when you walk into the store because it's milk and cereal themed. Okay. And that's why it's called milk. And also our inventory expires every 30 days. It's like how milk expires every month. Oh, okay, okay. So we switch it over. Um, so we have like a giant bo shoe box, glass shoe box filled with cereal. Um, all with of, cereal? With real cereal. Okay, you can eat it. Uh, you can eat it. But it's been there for like a year and a half, so I would Better not recommend eat you okay. eating it. Right. Um, and also, like the whole back wall is um, is filled with cereal milk. cereal labels. Ah. Sorry, milk labels. Oh, milk labels. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it's yeah, it was no, it was uh, awarded the best new uh, fashion store in Toronto uh, in 2019. Oh wow. Uh, yeah. So if somebody walks in there, can they have cereal? You all. So we are we are working on it for next summer mm. uh, because food and um, health laws are a little tough in uh, Canada, okay, so okay. we have to put a new bunch of stuff in the store to actually serve food out of it. And you have to apply for a license and wait for a while. So that license is in place. Um, so we're launching um, next June. Oh. Yeah, so we'll, you'll actually can have cereal, cereal while you shop. Store. Yeah. So you can shop for sneakers there while you're there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have all the brands that you work with displaying yeah. their products. Have you ever thought of getting into like the, this fine love for shoes, mm -hmm. sort of making it a brand of your own? Yes and no. Um, it why yes and why no? You said both the answers in one question. Yes, because I want to do it. Uh -huh. No, because I don't actually have the time to do it right now. Okay, right. Uh, and also, it's a little bit tough as an independent brand uh, in the sneaker world to break through because you need a lot of money and a lot of I investment. Uh, because all, obviously, the bigger brands that dominate the industry don't really want new brands to come in and and the audience and too. then you will lose all your relationship with the guys who you work with they'll be like not necessarily and if you structure it properly you won't do that if, if you're like a smaller company selling like batches of hundred at a time right, it okay. wouldn't really affect anyone else's okay. bottom line and that's that's the actual real true way like uh, smaller brands actually do it mm. um, so that's that's pro if, if I'm gonna do it that's probably gonna be the way it's gonna be limited edition 100 pairs at a time and we'll never make that design again kind of thing right okay so you've thought of this idea yeah now this milk and cereal mm -hmm. shop do you hope to bring it to Sri Lanka I you can call it Kiriba you can actually call it Kiri yeah <laughs> and serve Kiri and Ba yeah. out of it yeah Kiriba. Not bad. That's true. All you right. can actually serve your mum's gadol kiriba. <laughs> gadol kiriba. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, I, I, I have actually thought about it. Thanks. Um, if you ever do the kiriba shop, please like... Will you endorse it? Yeah. <laughs> like, please, please my face in the corner. Free kiriba for you. <laughs> Let me just do the ad. <laughs> this is a glass of milk. There you go. <laughs> Got it. So I've sold myself there for a free endorsement yeah. position. <laughs> so uh, you've thought of it, but not exactly executed it. Um, I'm trying to find time to do other things um, in Canada, so that would be first. Because for me, obviously, because I'm from Sri Lanka, I won't be satisfied till I do something, something here. here. Yeah, it because has to. No matter wherever in the world I go and whatever businesses I set up, it, I'm, I'm never happy unless I do something mm -hmm. here. I want to give people jobs. You know, like I've, I've I've seen a lot of things growing up. I've seen there's no proper minimum wage system. Like there's people on the streets. Like everywhere there's people on the streets. Of but course. I, I, it's just that the United States don't show it in their movies. That's about yeah, it. And, yeah, and and uh, and for me, like I think I feel because I'm Sri Lankan. When I see my people suffering, I feel it more, more. than I yeah. when I see Canadians suffering. Because, Cause yeah. sometimes yeah. Canadians suffer because 
they don't have to suffer they suffer because of they get the free stuff yeah exactly so they have resources to live a good life but they choose to live on the street because they get paid by the government yeah but we don't have and such a system money. here right yeah good money um so i i really want to you do are a citizen for, in canada right i uh, know i'm a permanent resident i haven't applied for citizenship yet you might not just get it after this show <laughs> <laughs> i say i um choose to remain a citizen of sri lanka oh that vote is special to you i tell you <laughs> <laughs> okay uh wanted to speak a little bit about you have inspired so many people from the time your video clip went viral in <coughs> sri lanka i've seen it um a lot of people who interviewed you i'm sure your instagram have so many people reaching out to you yeah why do they reach out to you and this is the conversation we had actually mm. and ask you the most the question i get the most is what's the easiest business to start or with what business can i make the most money with okay quite to the point and uh, i don't think that's for this is purely from what i believe in and i don't think that's how it works you can even sell party pool but as long as you know how you want to sell it exactly and and you have to have a passion for party pool like if you you know you yeah. should be able to bear that burp exactly <laughs> um i this is what i believe in like if you have a passion for something build a business around it and then figure out how you're going to throw it True. out in the world True. and that way it'll never feel like a business or it'll never feel like a job mm. like you'll really enjoy what you do excellent uh, kamal it has been absolutely amazing i'm so proud of you and i'm so happy you know that we have been trying to meet yeah. <laughs> and do like a few features together for quite some time yeah. i had him on wtf as well uh, but he never happened for years uh, but eventually i got a chance to meet him we really understood where he comes from yeah. what kind of a passion he has he's a prima donna in front of a camera for photographs <laughs> uh, somebody stole my place there but um, it's amazing i'm so proud of you I really hope that you go big, you go global. Thank you. Um and maybe if there are shoe companies in Sri Lanka that would like to reach out to him, you have all the opportunity to do so because we let's have some collab, like, man. My, yeah. my 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 thing is always like work together like yeah. let's all get rich. Yeah. And the best part is I'm getting my own goodie bag every month, right? Yes, you are. Because, because I promise be, you. I uh, promise you on TV yeah, so I have be, to. Because I'll be trashing you every month. If <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thanks. Danu, your size 13 shoes are on their way. Yeah, there you go. He knows my I've told him all the yeah. details. All right. Thank you so very much. May Thank all you, your dreams come true. Um uh, all the best to you as well with everything that you do. You're <laughs> a very busy man uh and you're one of the top celebrities in Sri Lanka who Stop people, it. I paid him long time. People don't love and recognize. Yes, you can be a celebrity and people sometimes you're famous but people don't love you, but I feel like people love you. I have doubts about it. <laughs> I really do. I tell you I really. I'm trying to make you look good for the show, bro. <laughs> Uh we need to wrap things up on the show. Big thank you to Me Colombo for the brilliant hospitality that they've provided us and the yummy food that we got to eat. Not forgetting our friends at LICC Jeans for the super sponsorship. Uh last salon for clothes, for the clothes that I really enjoy. We will see you with another cool episode till then you keep smiling. Keep it up.